Hello, it is currently April 16th, 2018. Hope that you guys are having an awesome day so far. I had a lovely birthday yesterday, so thank you so much for everyone who um, wished me a happy birthday. And again, thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. Thank you for liking these videos as well. And feel free to comment if there's something that you would like me to respond to, or if you went back and um, watched these videos later, it's always nice to hear about your little story or journey, if anything related to you. Okay, so our theme today is going to be justice. Okay, so much happening, guys. Like, this is actually unbelievably beautiful energy to be walking into. So the main thing is, is that we don't have fear walking into these new energies. Um, I feel like saying that I have a psychology background because I just keep hearing psychology, psychology in the in my head. So that's why I'm sharing it. Uh, so you can check me out at robinsealing.com if you'd like a personal reading. Um, I do different types of healing. So I do uh, distant Reiki healing. I do theta healing. So the Reiki healing is for emotional and spiritual. So we clear energy that way. But then the theta healing is help, really helpful for the mind, for the belief system, also for spiritual healing, because we are letting go of anything that's not serving you at this time. So we're actually talking through that as well. And then because I'm capable of channeling energy, meaning I can do intuitive readings and healing that way, I address anything that you may need to know or um, anything that I'm letting go of during the healing. I also am capable of um, acknowledging what we're letting go of. So it's pretty powerful stuff. So I charge $60 for a one hour session online or by telephone so if you're in Canada it's telephone otherwise we're just doing it on Facebook or Skype that sort of thing and then I also do facial and foot reflexology I do feet legs uh, arms hands so I I still am working with energy and so you're getting more uh, touch depending if you come in person if you if that's something that you need is more physical release through the toxins we also do that so um it's pretty amazing stuff i also teach reiki and teach reflexology so again i'm in a transitional stage where i was doing one thing and now i'm i'm doing a lot more teachings and even i find that like my readings are still teachings my healings are still teachings. So I guess it's a form of coaching. And so that's why I like doing these YouTube videos. Uh, and I find they're also transitioning because I'm learning to ta also discuss topics that I feel are worth sharing. So uh, if you're on my Facebook, at Robin's Healing Facebook on Thursday evenings, I don't have a set time yet, um, anywhere between seven and nine. I, I do like a topic specifically where you can also ask questions. And I always try to do free giveaways things um, on my Facebook page as well if you share and, and like my stuff. So I'm also going to be doing something soon where if you come to me in person, it's going to be like a, a couples thing. So it's either bring your partner or bring a friend, that sort of thing. And so you can do two people at once, which is amazing. So all powerful stuff. So we'll get on with the cards. So our theme is justice. So we just had a new moon on the 15th, which was yesterday. So brand new energy. I'm feeling a huge pull in my uh, third eye in my head. So um, also on my Facebook page, I just put something on there from an astrologer named Holly Poole. And I've had some readings before with her and she's really good. And she's talking about, have you noticed any pressure in your head? And I was thinking, uh, yeah. And that's related to the the planets and the sun being, being in Aries right now. So I was definitely feeling that. So just to acknowledge that if you have heightened sensitivities, if you're having physical things going on in your body, don't dismiss those as, as like there's something seriously wrong with me. It could be related to energetic things also. Okay, so we're also out of Mercury retrograde, which is a very, very amazing thing because this was my first Mercury retrograde. I was feeling the effects... Um, like times I'd say a hundred because the more uh, spiritual and you know I shouldn't say spiritual but the more energetic um, we get meaning we're more aware of our energy and then start tuning in and channeling into energy um, the more things are going to affect you so I think that that can also scare people because they don't they don't really necessarily want to be aware of those things 
But the more aware we are, the better it is. So if you feel like you're holding back in that area, maybe that's something you need to kind of recollect your thoughts around as well. So justice. Okay, this is more related to working out for people. So I've definitely been calling it, being called into that, like running, um, biking, anything I can do, swimming, maybe triathlon. I don't know. I want to start doing some things. So um, if you're going through um, financial stuff, um, just slow down a little bit to recollect your thoughts around that also. Um, this weekend, I'm hearing maybe uh, a tough weekend. That's what's coming up. But I just did my weekly um, reading for the whole week. And the weekend talked about the hermit, meaning we're going inwards. But for some reason, this is saying um, just to like trust what that what that means to you. Okay, so please watch that. Um, this is more about taking action this week. So I've already done the weekly reading, but because today's Monday, it's going to be related to that. So um, in relation to those things that we were just talking about. So so, Ten of Earth, a very happy family life, financial security, finding magic in the little things in life. So, my breathing is feeling a little bit off <sighs> because there are sides to ourselves that we need to change and we know that, but then it takes a lot of courage and um, balls or woman balls to to deal with these things. So, um, I'm feeling like life is a roller coaster ride as we know, but the coast part of it is what we need to kind of... Um, acknowledges that we're co just coasting through it so even though we're going through ups and downs we're still just we can still coast it it doesn't have to be in full fast forward but now that we're out of mercury retrograde that means we're back into alignment again so we don't need to slow down as much but we don't need to rush either so we're just back into business all right so that's where the psychology is coming in, I think, because it's learning how to shift our energies in a positive way rather than um, like too much too much spiritual isn't necessarily necessarily balanced with the mind and I feel like so many people have mental illness issues right now and even just healthy people are, are transitioning almost into falling into that category because it's so easy to become consumed in in people's mental health issues that a lot of people just start becoming um grouped into that rather than pulling away from that energy and the people with mental illness kind of starting to become more healthy. So if you're a healthy person, you don't want to become mentally ill. You want to help the mentally ill pull out of it. Okay, that's the difference. So we're helping people. So talking back about the stars aligning, I do feel like that's really happening right now. Um, but there's something related to January that keeps coming up and it's related to a job, I feel. So if you're starting a new job today, it would be a great day to start, you know, calling some people, contacting them. And then it's like, what's your definition of a job? <laughs> because we have career, we have passions, uh, we have people that look after other people, it's not their job. So, um... So I think some people think that a job is like doing what, like, it's like subtracting what you love out of the equation, okay? So that's what's coming up is that we're, and that's giving me a pull in my head, so I'm really focusing in on the fact that you can do the things that you love to do all the time. So um, I'm even learning that there are certain things in, in my job that I do that I don't necessarily love and then I'm kind of like, well, that's the way jobs are. But it's like, no, that's not the way that jobs have to be. That's the way you're making it. So when you're able to identify with aspects of well, yourself or your life. So if it's job related, what are the things in my job that I'm not enjoying? So that's what we're going to do is um, take the things out that we're not loving. It's not the opposite. It's like doing things that we don't love is a, is a job. It's actually the opposite. So um, just acknowledging that if you're not loving your job or you're not loving something in your job to take those things out. And that's where we're not predicting the future. We're just talking about anything that could be going on in the now, all right? I actually really love that, but there's someone who is really struggling with their communication, struggling with their heart still. And so um, that could be related to the weather. <sighs> my Christmas, my Christmas mug here. And it could be related to money, um, but it definitely something happened to you in January, and that's what this is related to. 
Um, so there's like negative things that maybe you're even saying right now. So um, this is all ego related, okay? So if you're judging things, it's your ego. And please look that up. Um, I can't remember if I did. I must have done a video on ego, but perhaps I should do a video. Um, I can actually post that on my uh, on my YouTube channel. So it'll be like, just say like, uh, what is ego? And I can talk more about that because I think that a lot of people that are feeling the negative vibrations right now, it is fear-based, okay? So that's a lack of um, trust, which is our theme was justice. So sometimes we're getting the effects of our... Um, of what we've been doing, right? So you're feeling the effects of your of your actions. So, and I'm hearing justice is deeper than that. So let's channel energy on what Earth theme justice actually means. So justice is finding happiness and joy in the little things in life. Okay, that's what justice is talking about. That's our theme. So that's what we need to do. The theme around ten of Earth. I already, apparently I already gave you the correct answer for that. King of Waters also here lingering, so we'll just see what that is. That's related to cancer, people who are very sympathetic. Uh, that's about learning to trust your instincts. Nine of Earth, enjoying life's little luxuries, spending quiet time alone, successful self-employment. I love that card because I'm really, um, you know, trusting my instincts and things that I'm doing and, it, and it's amazing. So it's amazing to see how your life just really goes up when you do start working from your heart and you do start trusting yourself. Um, and I'm a firm believer in that and so that's why I'm like, I broadcast this out to the world because I just think that without a shadow of death, um, you can really generate revenue and speak your mind from a place of love rather than um, a feeling of like lack or like you're just filling in for other people. So that also came up in the weekly reading that you're important no matter what the situation is. So if you have a calling or there is a calling for you, then um, like if your calling is to reach out to me, then do so and I can help you dig deeper into that. And I'm finally, my window's opening up a little bit more for me to start, you know, writing and doing more stuff. So there'll be like lots more avenues for you guys to like listen to what I have to say or read what I'm saying. Or um, as I get become more... Um, like, I, as I have more options and, and avenues, that will also be more helpful for you guys because I'll be able to do things, like, offer more things that are, like, visible for, for people as well. So, um, it's not about a ticket to paradise, but it's about um, walking into a life that, you know, that you need and and those needs are become met and that's where the joy and satisfaction come in. So, I think... Um, Trust your instincts, okay? Nine, we get two nines, which is a one and an eight. Our earth, our justice card is an eight. So eight is new beginnings, like strong new beginnings, and then also taking action on things you haven't been taking action on for quite some time. Uh, expecting the worst self-fulfilling prophecies, sleepless nights, nine of air. Okay, so this is where the psychology is coming up again because I'm hearing that there are people who have some mental illness issues, meaning uh, they're not looking at their life in, in the best way at this time. So uh, brand new beginnings means brand new secrets, I'm hearing. So um, unraveling some things within yourself that you need to let out and get out of your body or out of your system. I think I can certainly relate to that because it's like, for me, the, the whole writing thing is like a way to just get out all those things that you know that you have within yourself, okay? So um, there's brilliant new ideas. There's huge new avenues happening for you guys today, especially. So um, join a club, join a team, join a sports team. Um, get on that feng shui, that's, that's pro message is probably for me, but other people as well, so you feel better in your, um, environment, and, um, going back to psychology, sometimes we tend to worry a little bit, so, uh, also learning more about, like, how worry affects your, your body, and how this, like, our mental, you know, attitude and the way that we think actually shifts our 
physical body. So there is lots of support for you guys out there. So just acknowledging your uh, support systems. We're working on creating those. So um, when it comes to the impulses, just really work on controlling those impulses. And again, please watch my weekly reading and that will make a little more sense to you. Um, and talking about diagnosis as well. Like I don't diagnose people with anything. Um, I don't subscribe anything to people. So I'm just giving you um, like little tips and, and tricks for things. So um, if you feel like, you know, in terms of finances, you're, you need more help with that. Again, you just go to your experts in certain areas and, and um, you'll get more help that way, but you have to ask for that help. Um, so yeah, there's like um, some really strong negative energy out there even like it may be towards me when you're watching this or just acknowledge that when you're watching these how you feel like it's really important that um like you're not missing anything within these messages either because there's someone and who has experienced something in January that they're still dealing with stuff right now that they need to clear okay so um <laughs> And I've talked a lot about past life regression, and so if you're a person that had a weird feeling around past life regression, also this could be related to you. So um, it's all how we translate messages, right? So everything is an interpretation. So even when I do a reading, so when I pull out a card and Ten of Earth, and then I kind of channel energy, I hear a word. So it's like, I heard stop talking. <laughs> But I know that that stop talking is related to ego. So that's my message for the person, like for the person that was watching um, that has these negative tendencies. Because when we hear something that's negative coming in, it's, that's not, that's not our intuition. Okay, so often it's because we're not listening to those instincts and those instincts are different than fear and negative based thoughts all right so um if you're an intuitive person and you have premonitions that sort of thing uh, the more educated we become and the more we try to uh, solve our own problems and help others the better life will be so it's about uh living life you know in a joyful way and so uh if you're really struggling with theta healing may be also a, a great option for you but I, I do combine healing in that so i now have a general robin's healing session and that's just called whatever the heck you need and that's what you will get okay so a uh, great day for working out great day for you know taking great care of your body as well getting on the wagon with anything that you need to um and yeah, I hope that you um, put on some nice music for yourself and take a nice bath even and enjoy your day. Thanks so much. Take care. Namaste. Bye.